welcome to Mommy Duties. For this week's video, I'm going to be doing a pregnancy update. I'm 26 weeks pregnant, six and a half months. Baby is about 14 inches long, I think. About the size of a scallion. That's what my baby app says. I definitely feel her growing and moving constantly now. It's cool to finally see like my belly moving with all her movements. I've gained two pounds within the last two weeks, so that's a pound a week, and I blame my craving, my guilty pleasure craving, which is a drink from Starbucks. It's a complicated drink, but it's so good and addicting. It's a green tea frappuccino with white mocha syrup and java chips. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I want them now. Oh no. But on the healthier side of cravings, I've been eating toast with a spread of peanut butter, slices of banana, and chia seeds for breakfast. Mmm, that is so good. I've been eating it every morning and I haven't gotten bored of it yet. And someone actually commented recommending that I eat bananas for my leg cramps and I took their advice and ever since I haven't had any leg cramps. So thank you so much. That was a very helpful tip. Have I cra been craving anything else? I don't think so. That's for my back pain. It's still there. It has not gone away. And so my OB recommended that I go see a therapist. I saw the doctor a couple of days ago just for a consultation. And he said that I have an inflammation on my lower back, which should go away with therapy within th two to three weeks. So we're going to be doing that for the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, it goes away. If not, he says that there's an injection that we can take the inflammation away. But we're going to be holding off on that option and see how the therapy goes. I'm dreading it. I'm so scared because I can't even lay down. And I know they're going to be making me do all these workouts or whatever and it's just gonna hurt so bad but I know by the finish line it's gonna be worth it hopefully the pain goes away and hopefully it helps actually got something else adding on to my back pain I got pain on my pelvic region I looked it up and it's actually a symphysis pubic symphysis pubis <laughs> And it's normal in pregnancy as well. What's happening is your bones or your muscles are loosening up so that your baby can come out. But that causes discomfort and sometimes some pain. So I've been feeling that lately, especially in the mornings when I get up, when I put my feet down on the floor, I just feel like excruciating pain. It takes me a long time to just even start walking. I have to hold on things to, you know, catch my balance. I feel it when I try to put shorts on, when I try to put leggings on. I can't stand on one leg to balance. It really, really hurts. Um, I also feel it when I try to toss and turn from one side to the other in bed. <sighs> it takes me like five minutes to just turn around, like a little five inches. So that's been sucking lately. Um, haven't been really enjoying it. And I know the last three months are like just the worst. Like the first three months are the worst. Your second trimester is like easy. Your third last trimester is like back to downhill. So that's where I am at right now. One thing I did want to mention specifically and kind of just rant and vent about is my mood swings. It's really, really bad. I don't like it. I've been very, very angry. They're just in a bad mood all the time and I'm not that kind of person I'm always a positive person I'm always happy I'm not sure what it is these past couple of days I've just been not the person you would want to be around and I feel really really bad to the people that have been next around me they they probably can tell and can sense it that I'm not being my normal self I'm not sure what it is it's so annoying and when I'm in the mood I, I'm like why am I mad? Why am I upset? There's no reason for me to be upset. What is it? I'm like, snap out of it, Josie. You can get out of it, but I can't. It's impossible to get out of it, the mood swing. One minute, I'm so happy playing with Christopher. The next, I just don't want him near me. I know that sounds really, really bad, but that's the truth. Uh, I don't know if it's just the hormones that are just kicking in, and but I try to get out of it, and it doesn't last for that long. I'm right back to my normal self, but it's just really weird to me. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Does that ever happen to you? Comment down below if you ever felt 
mood swings, like really bad mood swings. Like you're mad, you're happy, you're sad the next. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm not the only one. All right, that's gonna be it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!